welcome back to another gas walkthrough today we're looking at april 10 2024's pointing difference that's uh different to pointing difference uh which can sometimes be a little killer puzzle i guess um this puzzle's by Clover. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. Uh, we here at Gas HQ, along with Philip Newman, uh, commonly set what we call genuinely approachable Sudoku. They're weird old variant Sudoku that, uh, you know, anyone can solve. You can find the link to this puzzle down there. Um, we post a new one every day. Uh, we do it free. If you want to throw us money, we appreciate it. But, uh, you know, hey. That's on you. Um, yeah, you'll also find in the description a two hat time. Uh, that's for really, really good times. Uh, if you solve that, you've done a very good job. Uh, if you solve it in a one hat time, also pretty good job. Just slightly less impressive than a two hat time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you dearly. Uh, all right. That really, uh, that really sums it up. Uh, so let's get into today's puzzle. Today's puzzle is pointing difference. Now, uh, in this puzzle, normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, so every box, row, and column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, um, there are also some diagonals marked. Now, in these diagonals, um, it, the number pointing towards the diagonal tells us how many unique digits can appear along that diagonal. So because I've got a two there, it means that I can only have two or three. Now, um, I'm gonna give myself a slight handicap because I didn't actually tell Clover, I believe uh, this puzzle can actually be solved uh, uniquely uh, without this three clue. So I don't even know what it's doing here. Um, let's see if my logic was sound when I solved this originally, or I'm just completely full of it. Both of those are things that might be true. All right. Um, with that, let's get into it. Uh, don't forget to give it a go if you feel so inclined, or if you think I'm engaging, funny, handsome, and charming, you know, you can watch it too. All right. Uh, you can just watch me talk. That's also fine. All right. Now, uh, along this line, we must have one and two. Now, uh, this cell can't have a two, so it must have a one. This cell can't have a one, so it must have a two. Um, three and two along this one must have a three there because it can't have another two in the same box. And similarly, uh, this can't be three because we've already got a three there, so this must be two. Uh, three and four here. Uh, well, I cannot put a f another four in this box, so this must be a three. And uh, this cell sees a three up there, so this must be a four. This one needs one and four, meaning that I need to put a one there and a four there. Hmm. All right. Now, uh, this line has two and three along it. Um, so let's put some twos and threes in. Uh, this one sees three. Uh, this one has to be three because it sees a two in the box. Uh, this one has to be three. This is two and three, but this there's a three here, which tells us which way around this goes. There's also a two up here. Um, over here, this cell sees a three, so this must be a two, and then we need to put a two there. Uh, this needs to have a one and a four along it, as you can see when I highlight it, one and four along this diagonal. So let's do that. Uh, that's a four. Uh, this cell sees one down there, meaning this is a four. This cell sees a one, so this has to be a four, this has to be a one. Um, putting that there. Now, uh, this cell sees a four, so this must be a one, and this needs to be a one as well. Um, now, I know that it's gonna have seven, eight, and nine on it. Um, I kinda already knew that because there was only one nine in this puzzle, but that's fine. All right, let's have a look at what this one can be. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, let's do this one. All right, so what can be along this line? So uh, this cell sees two, three, four, two, three, four, five, 
Uh, so this can only be six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, so meaning that this can only be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, this cannot be an eight. Uh, and this needs to be, uh, well, it can't be one, two, three, or four, so it can still just be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. I might have been wrong. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, because, okay, so that can't be an eight, so that can't be an eight. The reason why that can't be an eight is because of these two eights here, it means that this has to be an eight here. I'm, I don't need to make this harder for myself. I, I do know that there is a five in one of those two cells. Um... I don't need to make this harder for myself, but I'm just doing it anyway because, you know, it, I'd like to celebrate occasionally that I have the brain space for things. That's right, let's fill in the rest of the one, two, three, fours. So this has to be the one. Uh, one has to go up here. Uh, if you're new to spend Sudoku pad, um, the way that you do whatever I'm doing is you just double click on the number and it selects all of the ones in the grid. Uh, that puts two here. Where do my threes go? How many threes have I got? Nearly all of them. Three and three go in there. Uh, this is four, so four goes here and I'll put an eight there. Um, and last four goes here in the grid. Um, all right. Let's do this one. Uh, what can this be? It's five, seven, or nine, or eight. Uh, oh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, or nine is the only thing that it can be. Um, five and seven. I know why Clover put the night, uh, the three clue in because it does make the puzzle a bit easier. Um, but. We're never going to begrudge people having a good time. Uh, that's a nice one. Um, so this digit now can only be... Ah, mm, 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 mm. All right, I remember what I did. Um, hi, Betty. What you doing? Be uh, Betty, my uh, dog, has just walked uh, off frame into the living room. Um, here's how I did this the first time I was kind of doing it. So, whatever's in this cell has to be in this cell. So, because we know that it cannot be five or seven, it means that this cell must contain either a six or a nine, meaning that this must also be a six and a nine. So, this has to be the five along that diagonal because, um, where else am I going to stick a five in box six? Now, um, I assume I can pull some other nonsense to, oh yeah, and then seven uh, has to go here in, uh, in row four, uh, meaning this can never have a nine. Uh, this cell can only be a five because uh, I need to place a five, six, and an eight along this row, and five can only go there, uh, meaning this has to be six, eight, and putting a five here. All right. Uh, so because I have a five and a six here, this means this has to be five, this has to be six, this has to be six, that has to be eight. Um, eight and nine. Uh, seven and nine. Say hi to Betty, everyone. She's a little camera shy. All right. Um, uh, six going in there, putting an eight and nine in these two cells. Uh, we can resolve that, which is lovely. Uh, six tells us which way around the six, seven goes. Uh, seven, nine, and eight. Five and seven, six and nine, seven and eight going in there. Um, five, oh, da, da, da. see, I know that that's a seven, but I remember that I can do this puzzle without it. So, uh, five and nine. Uh, and this is unfortunately just what I'm like in real life. Um, Oh, God damn it. No, I couldn't. Oh, well. Oh, wait. No, no. Never mind. Uh, five and six. Five and six. Puts a five here. There we go. I nearly forgot one of the clues. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? Uh, 
Anyway, that's April 10, 2024's Pointing Difference by Clover. I'm still Bill Murphy, the last time I checked. Um, I hope you have a fantastic morning, evening, afternoon, or night, wherever you are in the world. I will see you next time. Cheers.